What's up, VC? All right. I've been listening to the new Pink Floyd live in Nebworth. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Live in 1990. Cut on 45 RPM. This is a must-have for the Pink Floyd fans and the vinyl collectors. Sounds phenomenal. It's two albums off, obviously, because it's uh, spinning at 45, so they had to spread it out. I'm pretty sure this has never been on vinyl before. Maybe it has. I don't think so. It's put out by the Pink Floyd Records. So, on 180 gram. Pretty cool. Logo artwork's pretty cool. It's got the Pink Floyd, uh, Pink Floyd Records logo on there. Anyways, I was, I've been, uh, I pre-ordered mine a while back and then see my every record store got theirs before I got mine, which is uh, usually how it goes, but, uh, made it all more worth it once I finally got mine. And, um, listen, to, I've been listening to it and, whew, this is one that I, uh, the other live album that came out recently, hold me grab it. Now this one, the um, Delicate Sound of Thunder tour, this reissue on vinyl, this is killer. I mean, it was three albums. It was, I can't remember the price. And I think it was 70 bucks. Um, this is killer though. This sounds good. Now this is 33 RPM, but totally sounds great. And I've been listening to that a lot for the last six months. So now this comes out, started listening. I listened to this yesterday. Both of them have Shining Me Crazy Diamond, all five parts. And uh, this one, I have to say, this one has more songs. And the Delicate Sound of Thunder tour I like because I'm pretty sure my stepdad seen Pink Floyd live around the time. So I think he got to actually see that. Either the tour for the album or the tour that they recorded for the album. Um, either way, uh, this is a 45 RPM. This is my only Pink Floyd I have that spins at 45 RPM. And uh, it sounds killer. I can't say enough about it. I just wanted to um, give a quick review. It comes with a picture booklet. It's on a very nice double gatefold. The picture's really trippy. I love how, you know, Pink Floyd always does like a picture that just like makes you wonder. For some reason, this reminds me like Pink Floyd to Animals by the cover. I don't know why. It maybe it's because of Sky. I like the simplicity. But either way, all right. Here's, um,. The guitar tone on this one's top notch. I, I feel like this is probably the best guitar tone out of all the live performances. Now, David Gilmore's really consistent in his guitar tone. It's not like he's ever had a night where his guitar tone isn't good. But this night, the way they recorded it and the volume level. It, and there's another guy. They do a version of Money where they go into, they do a reggae breakdown on Money. And they just do a big jam out. It sounds like he let the other guitar player go for a while. But if not, if it's David Gilmore, I'm not surprised. I couldn't tell. I felt... Like it might be because there is another guitar player. But if it's just him ripping, that's even all the more better. Um, it didn't say, so I'm assuming it prop. Most likely it's Gilmore. But if it's the other guy, that's awesome. But uh, it's pretty cool. Money, it's like a whole side of the record, I'm pretty sure. But, um. Let's see, let me show a couple pictures here. in there <laughs> was that uh I guess maybe the um, something that am I tripping I swear something fell out okay I have no idea where it went anyways um comes with this cool picture booklet I can't remember what I, what the price is but it wasn't too too pricey but it, for you Pink Floyd junkies this is a must. We gotta get this. So that's mainly what I wanted to talk about the uh, the Shade box. I would do a review also. That sounds phenomenal. I just noticed there's a little thing back here. Did I do that? Hopefully not. All right. A good way 
if you get a little ding on your record. I might have showed this trip to the this trick before. You take two guitar picks. Make sure they're clean. Not that they would be like dirty, but ashes on them or anything like that. And find a little spot and compress. Anyways, a little dog trick there. So if you're using your fingers, sometimes you do your fingers, trying to bend a corner that got creased, use your guitar picks if you can, if you have any handy around for you guitar players. Are you non-guitar players? That's a, re a reason to keep the pick around. All right, that's enough rambles about this album. Pink Floyd's awesome. Um, cheers, everybody. Like and subscribe, and go check out all the other cool vinyl channels. That being said, uh, said, said, um, stay positive and play lots of vinyl. Thanks. Bye.